Hello, hello. <coughs> Excuse my cough. Yeah. But my aunt just came by and dropped off some food for me because I guess they might think I'm a starving child right now since I'm, I'm alone. <laughs> Have this, some toy, some vegetables mixed with some mushroom, mushroom, carrots, and I guess this bean curd. Good. Mm. Quite good. Other thing, purple rice. Some, I think it's tomato soup. Tomato. Tomato. Or some sort of soup. What's that carrot? I don't know what's in there. But also, have this. Oh, oh, oh. Why is this red bean inside? It's kind of good. Hmm. Honestly, just when I'm running low on groceries, too. Because it. Um, all good for dinner. All good. All thanks to my aunt. Woo I've been watching Stephanie Sue. Her recent book stories. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so captivated. Talking about fantasy. I love fantasy stuff. <laughs> Is fantasy becoming the next biggest thing? Because I'm here for it. I love fantasy. And I think we should bring back fantasy. We were on dystopian sci-fi. And let's go back to fantasy for a little bit. Let's go back to fantasy building. <laughs> I love them fantasy worlds. Fantasy themes are so much fun. Because you can be so creative with it. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's why I'm having so much fun just listening to this story right now. I have a blast listening to this story. He saved her from the house of exotics and now it's time for her to pay him back, baking a mystery. I need someone to recommend me some good fantasy books too. <laughs> Please. So far today is pretty bland. I've just been staying at home. I'm not gonna lie. I'm doing whatever I want. I was gonna go outside. But I just decided against it. I just decided against it. 275 to take a train to somewhere. Just to look around. Am I gonna waste those 275? When I could just be entertained at home. Mm. <laughs> I think I'm not. I think I'm not. Why not spend a day relaxing to myself? I think it's better that way for... I'm not sh I was going to say everybody, but better for me. Better for... What else do I have to say? Oh my god. Okay. The doors here in New York, once you close them or they close on their own, either way... They instantly lock. And I'm here like, oh! I, I never lived with that type of stuff. In SF, the doors are more manual, especially with the locks. You have to like put in your key just to turn the lock so it's locked. But here, maybe apartment complexes, maybe it's just that. But here in New York, door closes it just instantly locks it just instantly locks 
And man, I almost got locked out today because I almost forgot about that. Luckily, I had a spare key on me somewhere. But if I didn't have that key on me, oh my gosh, I would have been standing, sitting outside of my apartment for a good while. Until I realized I had a spare key on me. Because usually anytime I go outside, I always grab the keys instantly. Thinking, oh, I'm going somewhere. Because usually anytime I'm going outside of the apartment, I'm usually going out somewhere. So I usually bring my keys. But if I was going outside of the apartment and maybe tossing out the trash or something nearby, grabbing mail, grabbing a package, I usually wouldn't grab my keys, especially if it's just underneath, just a couple floors down. Maybe it's just my stupid ass, but... Oh. That would could have been a disaster. A disaster. Ooh, looky, looky. And Gilles is, he's pissed. He gets in Kaz's face and he says, you think you're smart, don't you? You think you're always one step ahead of the rest of us. This blended up a bunch of berries. Yum. Hey. Dinner for the rest. Wait, 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 wait. Isn't that guy? Isn't he from the glory? I think I could recognize face. I think I could recognize face. Pretty sure it is. I watch TikToks practically all day. Besides when I went out to go grab peanuts and chips. They had no maple syrup, but yeah. I can't function right now. My brain feels so foggy. to wake up but it feels so groggy let me just eat some food and maybe drink some cold water and I'll be better better okay. the next day it's another day we love it the second auntie came by to visit and brought me food too. What a lucky, lucky gal I am. Doing three stacks of rice. And then this one's noodles. I already got a taste earlier. And it's pretty good. Noodles, carrot, mushroom. Yes. And then there's some type of curry she made. And she said it was her first time making it. And I tried it and it's Pretty good. Not bad. Honestly. And this one's some sort of tomato tofu. But wow. Wow, oh wow. I feel so blessed to have family in New York, honestly, which is not bad. Just to come by, drop food by, um, to make sure I'm surviving. <laughs> I think some of them don't think that I know how to cook myself and I'm here thinking what 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 I do know how to cook maybe not the best cooking skills but I do know how to cook perhaps easy dishes if anything takes longer than maybe 10 minutes I don't think I, I would personally cook it it's not worth my time to cook a dish that takes 10, 10 plus minutes especially prep work and all that stuff oh my god i'd say it's a no thank you i'd rather eat something comforting um but anywho of me complaining about cooking food that takes less than 10 minutes to make it's a rather nice day look um just enjoying my time so far for the past two weeks i'm pretty I've enjoyed it, not to, I'm not gonna lie. And my cousin is coming back home tomorrow. Uh, is it bad to say that I want more time to myself? I don't know, I don't know. But I'ma still say it, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed my time, I enjoyed my time. Just relaxing. 
feels so nice. Time by myself, I get to talk to myself more. I could be loud as freak as I want to be. I could do whatever, dance in the kitchen. I could make some soup. I don't, I don't know at this point. I could just do whatever. Turn on the TV as loud as I want. Anything. Oh, but I'm gonna start work. I believe it's next week. I'm gonna start work. I'm a little bit nervous. I've done retail before, but I've never fully done restaurant. I've done similar, for example, a cafe, boba cafe. I've worked for a bit, maybe it was a couple months until the pandemic hit. Cause I'm not sure how chaotic everything's gonna be, but the tips, I hear tips. That's the only reason why I want restaurant job because I get a wage and tips. Sounds pretty good to me. Retail, I can't even take tips. I remember there's someone when I worked in retail, they thought my kindness was, uh, sheesh, how do I word this? Someone, once I rung them up and everything, and they thought, oh, oh my God, your customer service is, you're so friendly. It's your customer service skills are so great. Something, they had a great time. Maybe it's because before I also helped them out as well, looking for something along those lines. But there was someone trying to tip me at the register by saying, oh, you could keep the change. You could keep the change after paying cash. And I'm here thinking, no ma'am, sorry. <laughs> Knowing the system, uh, I can't take that extra cash. You can take it. You can take it. I'm not allowed to take it. You take it. Because if we take the cash on the system, it's a discrepancy of over how much the guest decides to leave for the change. And that's more paperwork to do. So I'm thinking, no ma'am, <laughs> please. And you t you take the you take the change, and they're like, no, 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 no. Ah, you're doing an amazing job. You take the change. You take the here. You go. Here's the change. And I'm thinking, oh, this is the paperwork. I'm just thinking about the paperwork that I have to file in if we take in that extra change. It's technically the tips not giving given to us personally, because if anyone leaves spare change, it goes either to I forgot either to the bank but or the company I'm not sure but either or it doesn't go to us personally so even if she told me keep it and there's security cameras around I'm here like, oh man <laughs> I can't take this money I'm sorry I would love tips but no man no ma'am I can't take your money and she's insisting pushing it and I uh, I'm here saying, no ma'am, I can't take your change. It's too much work on my end. And eventually she just takes her change. Whew. If she didn't, that's more paperwork on my end, which I didn't want to do. But restaurant job, I could, I could take tips, personal tips. I think that's a thing. <laughs> Mainly because I never worked restaurant, so I wouldn't know. But anyways, I noticed people have been contacting me too. They're calling me, how are you? Texting me, how are you? How's it over there? From mom, brother, family, cousins, even sometimes friends too. Just just to see how I'm doing. And it's pretty nice. Um, I didn't think people would care about me too much moving. But I guess they do. Which is... A nice feeling. A nice feeling. And I'm more tempted to reach out to other people myself as well. Just to keep friendships or relationships. Either it's family or friends. Just to keep them staying strong. Staying strong. Later that night.
melding. Disgusting shit. Huh? Well, I finally decided to edit. And I have so much regrets for holding it back so long. Mainly because... There's so much footage I have to rummage through. I'm putting clipping on audio, clipping video. I think I spent at least half of half of, half the day. I think half the day trying to edit videos. Props to people who video edit. It's so meticulous. And I don't think I'm the person for it. I'm exhausted. And I didn't even finish one video. Just constantly editing. <laughs> Meticulously. I'm tired. I think even my computer is fried. Sometimes I'd be glitching out going, ee, ee. I don't want to stop. I don't even want to stop. Computer is really glitching out, saying, "Oh, sorry, I don't want to work on this anymore." And same. I'm tired. I just wanna just just take a nap. Just take a quick nap. Take a quick nap. Okay, it's it's enough for today. It's enough for today. A flight of stairs so I could kind of sit on. See if it's worth it. Mm. It's not the best I ever had, but. It's not bad. Well, now, 
so awkward talking to the camera anytime someone walks by. So if I pause in between, you know why. Because <laughs> I always wonder when people are sitting at the stairwell, right? Do they? Has anyone ever just awkwardly sat there? while someone walked into their apartment or left their apartment. That's all what I always wondered. And now I experienced that. First time sitting on the stairwell and it happened right away. So lucky me, lucky me. It's almost seven and I feel like I should be going home before it gets dark. So I don't get mugged or something, I don't know. Three days later. show you in the morning but uh, this cute little top i got because it's scorching hot today bro scorching hot walk outside for a good maybe like five to ten seconds maybe it's because i'm wearing all black too big mistake but but i i always wear black so <laughs> this is probably the first time it made me want to not wear black even just standing out there for a good couple seconds, I'm melting, I'm melting. Walking around just even for a block. Do, 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 do my own thing. Oh my god, my pants are sweating. What do you guys think about the top? Ah, show off collarbones. <laughs> okay, my collarbones aren't really that prominent. But if I go, <laughs> you guys can see it better. Okay, as a San Franciscan, um, I am just gonna say this right here and there. You, we usually bring layers, layers outside. Okay, for the lighting. Anyways, we usually bring layers, cause it's either windy, cold, or gets colder at night. I brought a jacket, a jacket, just in case, but guess what, this girly didn't need a jacket at all today, no, 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 scorching, burning my ass off, sweating a few pounds off too, oh my god, but all I did today was just eat with my cousin, and then he had to go to work, so, what did I do afterwards? I want to Trader Joe's to buy ice cream. Knowing my ass, I couldn't eat all the ice cream in one go. I mean, I mean, um, debatable. But the main re reason why I didn't get ice cream from Trader Joe's initially was because there was a long ass line. I wasn't going to wait that long just for ice cream, just, just to buy ice cream. Okay, I was dripping. My face was red. My face turns really red really easily. So I'm just walking here like, with a stoic face. And my whole face is tomato red. As if I was drunk or something. But just walking. Boom. Cherry red. There, Trader Joe's went over to Sephora. Honestly, I just made pit stops as an excuse to... You know, get the AC, <laughs> get the AC. But at the same time, I was thinking, hmm, maybe, maybe, maybe if I stop by Sephora, I might need something, you know. 
but I met a really nice lady there. She introduced a product to me. Oh, I mean, technically, I was looking at her product. She came up to me and said, "Oh, this is a really good product. You should try it out." We made small talk. It was not bad. But once she said the price, I forgot either she said thirty or fifty dollars for that one bottle of vitamin C serum, brand new serum. My face to her while we were talking. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. But when she said the price in my head, my face was doing this. What would you say? Thirty to fifty dollars, and this girlie had the audacity to say to me, "It's worth it." What? <laughs> <laughs> what? what and the bottle was this size I bought this cheaper at Target I think from what I remember was I? did I? what was I talking about? oh yeah after that I went over to <sighs> I don't know how to say it can 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 I could just call it KKY <laughs> but I feel like I might offend some people so I don't know anyways I went to KKY bookstore by Bryant Park just across from Bryant Park just for the AC too but at the same time I was thinking you know if I find a good book I might find a good book and I found this book you know what, I'm buying too much books, and I also took a piss, took a bathroom break at the bookstore too, because, you know, if you need to be, you need to be. Over there, I couldn't even concentrate on looking at books. The f I don't even know how long I was there, but for the first half of the time I was there, I was going... <laughs> that was my experience there, just... Looking around, fanning myself all of a sudden with the books, going, <laughs> suffocating. <laughs> I was gonna grab another one, but then I saw the price $22. What? What? Girl, that could buy me a whole meal at a restaurant. But at the same time, you know, I need to educate myself a little bit more. So, uh, I guess, for the knowledge. For the knowledge, like all those finance bros be said, for the knowledge. For the knowledge. So after that, I decided to head over to Whole Foods right across the street. And I was planning to get this ice cream sandwich back in SF when I was on my lunch break at the mall what was I gonna say? <laughs> but anyways, I got it it was pretty good, it's basically a cookie which one did I? sorry if I stuttered but um, I think I got the mint one mint chocolate chip it was chocolate cookie, chocolate chip cookie and mint ice cream smack in the middle I was planning to eat it, eat that, find it, but guess what, I didn't find it, and I was thinking, what kind of Whole Foods is this, it's bigger than the one I, I had back at home, and looks bougie, but where's the ice cream sandwich, I went to the ice cream section, where is it, cause everything else is in multiples, Besides, you know, the pints. And I don't have a fork and spoon with me. So I was like, What the heck? Where'd I go? I spent at least a good five minutes just standing at the ice cream fridge. Or, is that what it's called? The ice, the cool case. I spent a good while. Just staring at the ice cream. Which one should I get? Which one should I get? Should I get this one? Ice cream cone. 
I don't want to be licking ice cream. I'd rather just or just scoop it up. Here I'm getting the pint, the pint, the ice cream you see in the video. That's the one I end up getting because I ended up remembering. Oh, fork. It's Whole Foods. Don't they have a food cart or something? And they provide forks and spoons. I'm pretty sure. I hope they do. <laughs> but anyways, I found the spoon. Walked over stuff, check out. And then I ended up going to Brad Park, just chilling there. Oh my god, there were so much people. But luckily, I walked by there before. So I know there was a secret corner that I could sit. It was kind of full still anyways but less full in comparison to if you're smack in the middle with where the the grassy center is i don't know what's called but anyways i, I managed to cool down got through 10 pages of my book sometimes i just stood not stood but sat there look at the scenery I just got one on my phone because I don't want to accidentally make weird ass eye contact with someone and just be straight staring right into their soul but that's all I did today honestly because besides that it was forking forking freaking forking freaking forking hot so after that I just decided to go home Dang, I'm, I'm kind of lonely, aren't I? <laughs> Cause it would be fun to be loud here and there with some friends, but I don't have friends right now. Okay, who am I gonna talk to? Myself? I mean, I could, but. I can't have more people staring at me. I don't even want people staring at me, period. 